Hello again viewers, this is for the young ones, my head is already hurting, Veronica strip behind me, Revolution and all the other places, whenever I'm in Tenerife, I always do a wee quick Veronica's walk for nostalgia and old time's sake, and to be honest with you, it's timeless, it never changes, I could have took this video two years ago and you wouldn't see any difference really, it's a wee bit busy I suppose, it's just after midnight, I'm staying just round the corner in the Player Azul Club 18 to 30 joint. That's the place to go if you're young and you don't care about the accommodation with pretty basic and standard and you just want a good location. You can stay there. It's not really for me to be honest. I don't think I'll be staying there again. But I was young once myself. Let's go and see the Veronica strip. I'll need to speak quite loudly. It's going to get really loud when we go down here. Get your earplugs in, get ready. Tramps across the road, doesn't get busy till later on. Lava bar across the road, further down, McDonald's. So as I said, it's not really changed, very, very slightly changed. They have changed the, the, the end bit slightly, they've dug up the pavement, it's a wee bit better looking. So, newcomers to the Veronica Strip. All the bars along here, pretty busy, geared for younger people, as you can hear, it's absolutely bouncing the music. Now you've also got establishments down the stairs, as you can see they're advertised at the end here, all I can say is, it's, it's obviously aimed at guys, if you're going down there, be very careful in all sorts of ways, just be very careful. And eels up the top, as you can see. Revolution, not that busy. Jumping Jacks next to it looks pretty busy. Do you remember back in the day when Veronica's used to spill out right onto the street? It used to be all the way along here. Where the cars are, it was so busy. Back in the day, you could hardly walk by here when you used to have Bobby's Bar and all the other places. It's a lot busier than it is now. Sugar Reef. Next to Jumping Jacks, I actually seen that open during the day one time, which I was surprised at. There was quite a few people in, to be fair. Remember, you're coming here with your mates. Be very careful. Take care of each other. That's all I'm saying. The Yordi Sports Bar. Just sometimes open during the day as well. A wee supermarket that I've never noticed there, it's probably been here for years, never noticed it, but it's pretty busy here, eh? What do you think of the music, viewers? Is it to your liking? <laughs> I've just came from the part of the Paris strip there, met a couple of viewers, done a video, and then just when I finished the video, I met Mark and his family, and I met uh, Helen, Durham as well. Pleasure meeting you guys, nice having a wee chat with you. I bet you don't come down here. <laughs> so, that bar wins to the loudest music, Yordi Sports Bar. It's all the way back there, I didn't realise it was as big as this. If you want a wee bit of tranquility during the day, walk through there, I'll take you down to the promenade and the beach. It's pretty nice down there. Food places open, Donner Kebabs. Subway KFC, probably going to be open, they'll go down here and they'll, they'll see it. And remember you've got McDonald's just the right hand side. Nearest hotels to the Veronica Strip, if you're a young one and you want to be close to the action. Hotel Troyer, just up there on the right hand side. Round the corner, you've got the Hotel Gala. Quite close, you've got the Oro Negro, Oro Blanco. The one I'm in, the Plate Azul. Uh, you've also got the Vanilla Gardens and the Paradero. So these accommodations are all round the corner from Veronica's. Oasis, I've seen a lot busier, not that busy tonight. And the same goes with Envy. Envy looks quite civilised. A lot of people just sitting down, not people dancing about, is it? She's up dancing, having fun. You're allowed to dance now. That's Envy. 
Yeah, quite a few people dancing in Oasis. You can see them all there, huddling together. McDonald's over there. So Envy, not too busy. Joyce, don't know what's happening with that, it's not open. KFC's normally open. Subway is open. KFC might just open at the weekends when it's even busier. There was some sort of function on earlier on in the Papagayle Beach Club. I've seen a lot of people queuing up earlier on to get in here. They're all really smartly dressed as well, so I'm not quite sure what was going on. Not sure what time McDonald's is up until probably quite late. Plenty of taxis here, normally as well, so if you're staying within five, ten minutes away, you might want to just jump in a taxi, maybe easier late at night. So that's the Papagayo Beach Club, which has got a lot of seating right out the back as well. Um, quite a nice setting overlooking the, the sea. Let me know in the comments. Um, they were in there, I've heard some people recommend that, I've heard other people saying that it was a wee bit pricey, but location wise it's right on the beach I suppose, it's not going to be cheap is it? I think in some nights they have minimum spends, if you need to book a table. So there's the Hotel Troyer. Regular viewers have probably seen these videos a million times I know, Veronica's just doesn't change, it's much the same, every time I film it it's the same, but there's so many new viewers on the channel that you've maybe not seen the video so I really really appreciate you watching the video Papi Girl Beach Club doesn't look that busy now but earlier on it was busy it's just, I don't know why it was busy earlier on it's kind of bizarre anyway that is the famous Veronica Strip in Tenerife Las Americas now here's a wee place that I should be going to stay my foot's in just now Foot Locker <laughs> Can we walk over? If you are new to the channel, hit the wee red button below there that says subscribe. You can join their community on YouTube. Really appreciate it, thank you so much. And if you hit the wee bell, you get notified when I upload new videos. So they've got a pharmacy here. I don't know why I've never noticed this pharmacy around here. And they've got a few shops. There's another entrance into the Hotel Gala, the back entrance here. I didn't know this either. So that is going to save you time if you're coming in. It might get shut late at night, I'm not really sure. Benetton shop round here as well. It's pretty quiet round here, eh? We've got a car park there as well. I don't imagine that many people go to Veronica's or take their car, mind you. It's probably not recommended. <laughs> probably not. See the Crow's Nest sign up there as well? So a wee trip down memory lane for the old viewers, the young ones, that's the Veronica Strip. It's not Ibiza, it's not Las Vegas. If you're young, I would go there instead to be honest with you. But if you come in the winter for a short break and you want some nice weather, then come and support the businesses at the Veronica Strip. We've got plenty of guys working here relying on your business as well. So I have to be fair to everybody and recommend them. But just be careful common sense if you're abroad on holiday anywhere just be careful and I tell you that from experience because I'm still looking for a phone down in that Veronica strip from a few years ago <laughs> so just be careful thanks for watching guys I really really appreciate it we went to Revolution for a pint now or jumping jacks what do you think what should I pick we'll wait and see <laughs> thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one from somebody else in Tenerife <laughs>